Okay, so here we go at Singapore. Um, yeah, yesterday I was so sick. I don't know what happened to me. It must have been something I ate, but oh my goodness. I felt like I was under an elephant all night long and just woke up feeling like that. Wow. So, but I got on the game anyway. I practiced like crazy on this track, but I could never get used to this track. Um, I personally don't like this track. Yeah, but anyway, I qualify good. Um, I was pretty much in fourth place when I qualified, but I totally forgot to change out my components and uh. Basically took another 55 grid penalties because I totally forgot. <laughs> anyway. Um, so during the qualification, the third qualification, my gearbox, one of the gears went out on me. I was like, oh God. It was, it happened right when I did my time. So, you know, it was on a lap end that it happened. I was like, oh, okay. But anyway. But look at Oscar. He qualified ninth. He went through three qualifications. He qualified great last race too. But this time he did even better. So I'm proud of him. All you need to do is just threaten to give him the boot. But anyway, here's the race. But look, we're going to watch Oscar for about a lap. Um, I didn't do anything too major. I just passed a, a couple cars. At the beginning but nothing major but here we go we're gonna take a look at oscar and right here i got this view from down or up here and i really like this view if you take a look look at that he passed up two cars but nope he's still fighting with the other one i think that's daniel fighting with him Nope, that's Max. He's up there fighting with Max Velocity. What? Look at Oscar. Oh, he's about to lose it. Come on. Don't lose out to Max. He got Max. I believe. Ooh, look at that. Max giving him the squeeze. Look at that. Oscar playing, driving good. Look at that. Look at Oscar holding his own against Max. But then again, I mean, Oscar's on soft tires. Max is on hard tires. <laughs> <laughs> Should be no contest there, but yeah, I'm proud of him. But yep, yeah, this view is great. If you take a look um, right here, just take a look at the sign right there. See, you see the difference? You can see the track much better. You can aim for the corners much better. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but. Yeah, this is a good view. But anyway, enough of Oscar. Let's go to me. So yeah, I passed up a couple cars back there. So basically, in the beginning, I, I squeezed in to squeeze out um, Albon. And I don't know how I, I forgot how I passed up um, Alcon, but it, I, I think it was about the same fashion. Um, right here, I'm just looking for a dive bomb trying to get comfortable with the path uh, with the track but I'm you know it looks like I'm driving good but I'm not comfortable I don't, I don't know if you know what I mean but I, I was just not comfortable on this track see I I hit my marks um, a little understeer there but it's, it's still a good turn right there hit the box good look at that so I mean I'm driving good but I never felt comfortable on this track so, anyway, one of my roommates um, was complaining about the clicking that I was doing, activating the DRS, activating the ERS, you know, shifting, because um, you can hear that, you know, late at night. But the, the wheelbase itself, there's just like no rattle unless I get into the, a wreck and I don't. Right. Yeah. So, and even when it gives, it's giving me feedback. You know, I I play with my headphones off 
most of the, most of the time because I have a surround sound um, all around me, so I, I don't even hear the motor. And this thing is so cool. I I can't even find a hot spot on this thing. I'm I'm trying to find a fan. Oh, I think I found it. You know, it's a little. It's not even warm. But you know, but it's just on right now. So anyway, he's complaining about it. So now I have to drive with everything automatic. So uh, so this race. I'm practicing driving automatic, which, you know, it comes kind of natural, but I also hooked up the load cell brakes that I haven't been using because the cable they gave me was like three and a half foot long, maybe four foot long, and it's so short, and I was like, wait a minute, I have a cable like this, so I unplugged my audio technica 2020 and plugged it up and used it as the brakes and now i my old brakes is the clutch now and now i'm doing everything none unassisted the takeoff the pitting everything is unassisted so i i practiced all that yesterday on this track so i was like i said i was trying to get comfortable with the track but i did not get comfortable and it's so hard to pass on this track you know, we, we did an all stop on upgrades and I took a screenshot of the, um, uh, I don't know, I may have gotten to take a screenshot of this one. But we're pretty much neck and neck. We're in sixth place and, um, Alpine, we're, we're like neck and neck with Alpine. If you take a look, it, you, can't, you can't even tell who's ahead, but they, they said Alpine is ahead, whatever. But yeah, everyone is lined up. The Ferrari, the Red Bull, they slow down their production. Um, I'm guessing some parts fail to come on the car, but everyone else is catching up. So it's making the race exciting. Well, it's exciting to me, racing like this, you know, not, not an easy pass, but the, again, this track is so hard to pass. And I'm over here, you know, looking for a, a safe way to pass and I can't find it because right now I started rock bottom I'm only at 18 I mean we're only on fourth lap but it's hard to pass on this track but anyway Oscar's still doing good look at him he's still sitting in sixth place the only thing bad about Oscar right now is yes he's driving great he's got no damage on the car but he is on the wrong strategy he is on a three-stop strategy. Why? You qualify ninth. Why do you need a three-stop three strategy? You know? I I could never understand that at all. So right now, as I'm driving, all I'm focusing is to get to Lewis Hamilton. That's all. And then right now, I saw, um, well, I can see Latifi and Hamilton, because be before I saw him, I was like, wait, is that Hamilton or Russell? You know, I couldn't tell, so I kept on driving. I can't believe Hamilton is doing this poorly. Look at George Russell. He's way up there second. Um, Ashley... Hamilton may have picked up a grip penalty. That's why he's back here. And it's it's like the worst track to get a grip penalty. I know. I'm over here passing him on the outside, saw the chance and took it. And right there, I thought I was clean right there. Right see right there? I thought I was clean. I was already going into my turn. But he tried to do a dive bomb and then he hits me. And guess what? There is no damage on his car. If every time I do a move like that, automatic wing damage. But not for the AI. So anyway, as as we're going here, it's it takes me a long, 
long time to pass up a car on this track. Yeah, I catch up to them, but I can't pass them up right away. So we're just going to speed things up a little bit here. So, so back then I already saw, oh, this is Lewis Hamilton. I'm about to pass up my rival. And I think this is the last race for him to do something, to catch up in points, but he's way behind points anyway I didn't even need to pass him from here but my competitive nature nature kicked in you know but anyway so if if you notice I changed the livery color of my car I, I can't seem to get the car colors to match right when when you're looking at it from here but when you look it closer it looks like my rig. The Placey Trophy Logitech Edition. That's why I color the car like that. And it, it looks just like my rig. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this color scheme. Um, I really like it. Anyway, I'm finally catching wind of Lewis Hamilton. So I'm just trying to figure out the safest way to pass him but it's not an easy catch so i'm slowly creeping up with the drs he's of course he's got the drs too so yeah i'm thinking about the dive bomb nope didn't see a clean spot to give him a pass but yeah as you can see with this new camera view you know i was practicing with this new camera view and it's, it works so good I, I still need to practice on the low cell braking because I, I don't understand why the low cell is better than the other brakes. I mean, the other brakes that I have, it came with this little foam padding in, uh, on the back of the, the paddles. So it, it's making it feel like a slow cell. So, and it's not as stiff as this load cell so why is the load cell better i i don't understand anyway so when i was practicing i i was like trying to lock up the car and i couldn't even get the car to lock up using the low cell brakes and i'm confused i'm like wait i locked up this car so easily with the other brakes but why can't i do it because I took time to go into the software to manually edit the pressure of the brakes you know at first I had it on you know I think it was an automatic but it didn't feel right I had to press down so hard the, the low sail brakes is so stiff so stiff and I was gonna buy the third party ones but they they try to charge you so much for it it's like you know between 30 bucks and then they're going to charge you chipping so we're looking at about 50 bucks for a couple of springs seriously I, i'm i'm like it's not worth it so what i did was i went on the amazon and i see these springs so i bought them all together was like less than five dollars but they, they're still a little stiff anyway I, I need to look at some some firmer springs but as you can see I'm having a hard time catching up I mean not catching up passing up any cars on this track somebody's finally pitting so now I have some more room on Hamilton and he's trying to take off on me and I think right up here is when I took the chance when I get a little closer to him here right here I'm trying to go on the outside yes I made the move stick yeah I mean it it wait wait did he bump me what was that sound I don't know so that was me slamming on the brakes trying to lock up the car and I can't lock up the car anymore so I don't know I guess you're not going to see me ever locking up again. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, 
I, I'm thinking about doing the next video because right there it looks like I'm I'm locking up the car. Wait. Yeah, I did lock up. Okay. So you can lock up. Huh. Oh, you know what happened. You know why I couldn't feel that? Because when I watched Jano's video, he he was showing people how to set it up. You know, the, the direct wheel drive. And he basically turned everything, all of that off. The surface, it doesn't go through the base. Um, the curbs, it doesn't go through. He basically turned everything off except for basically the steering power. That's it. Everything is off, which which I understand. I mean, he's he's in the lead. Um, so, so that's why I couldn't feel it locked up. Okay, it, so it does lock up. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Because <laughs> obviously, I didn't look at the replay before I did this. Because I, I still remember this thing fresh. And over here, I finally got some wind. He tried to give me the squeeze, but I'm not shaking up buy it but i finally passed up another car it's just like you know passing up a car right here now right here if you listen so we barely touch each other right there so i thought we just rub wheels right there but no it was not just rubbing wheels We both damaged our wings. It didn't update me. So right there, I thought, you know, I thought I didn't take any damage. And another funny thing is at the end of the race, it, I didn't have to pay for any damage. So is it a bug if I didn't have to pay for damage? Even though I have damage. So. Obviously I watched the replay. Because when I watch it. Um, in some of the camera view. Look at that. I have a damaged wing. And I was like wait. When did I get the wings? So I went through. And that was the spot. When I got the damaged wing. And. You know. Like before. Before. I got the wing damage. They never updated me. And. They never take, they never charge any money from me for the damage. So I'm thinking I have no damage because the only thing that was taken away was from Oscar's car for what happened to him later. Spoiler alert. Um, yeah, that was it. But anyway, from here on, I'm four seconds behind. It is no way I'm going to catch up. So basically right now, I'm just going to ride through and just wait to go into pit. Okay, so that's my strategy now and just going to keep going here. But Oscar went into pit already. He is going to be stuck in traffic. Look at this traffic. You know, with, with him having that strategy I, I just don't understand why you would do a three stop strategy so he already pit in for medium tires and he's stuck in traffic he can't pass anyone because this track is so hard to pass anyone it's just if, if you don't qualify good that's it you're, you're basically stuck unless you're like aggressive as I am so as we go, I, I'm catching up to Ricardo a little bit, but I'm not even worried because I know we're going to come in the pit in the next I mean, five laps from now. So, but I'm, yeah, I'm catching up to Ricardo. I'm thinking there's something wrong with his car. There's nothing wrong with his car, so I don't know why he's driving slow. I don't know. It might be something wrong with his car. So I'm finally catching wind of Ricardo here. And yeah, like before, it takes a while to pass, but nope, I'm not willing to wait for that because 
I don't know why. He just decided... Oh, he locked up. Yeah. <laughs> he locked up, so... Easy pass for me. Thank you, Daniel. So, the next car is like another four seconds, and I'm like, holy crap, man. So... You know, I've been hot behind those slow cars for so long. Everyone else picked up time on me. This is why I don't like this track. It's just, it's a terrible track. You know, there's, there's too many turns. Left and right, turn again, left and right, turn again. You, you can barely tap on the throttle and you got another turn. It's just, I, I'm thinking next season, I'm just going to cut this track out. I don't like it. I am not comfortable. I mean, but if you look at me drive, it looks like I'm comfortable with the track, but no. I am not comfortable with the track because right here, the AI go through there in sixth gear and I can't do it because I'm on automatic transmission now. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, it, I think this is about the time that we're um, going to start pitting. So Sebastian already pit onto hard tires, I think. Mm, no, did he go medium again? Uh, I guess his strategy is medium, medium. Weird. But anyway, so we're just going to wait for everyone to hear to pit. So they're obviously pitting, pitting for hard, pitting for hard. Yeah, Sebastian stayed out, so he's probably going to pass up those cars. Yep. He passed them up. Schumacher. I think Schumacher is on a three stop as well. I'm, I'm not even thinking about catching up to the cars because I'm, I'm just trying to ride out here good. You know, so basically just Try to pick up a little bit of time before I go into the pit, but the tires right now are so worn. They, they were like almost at 60% worn. And I think I came in there too slow. So was this the mark to go in? I thought that was the mark to go in. So I slowed down. Nope, it's not. It's this one right here. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> but anyway, look at the crew working. I turn in perfectly. Um, so I was trying to practice, if you turn in like 0.6 in, 0.7 in, 0.8 in, you know, 0.54, whatever, do, do you get a better time or not? And yes, if you turn in at like 0.6 to 0.7, you get a better time. Anything below that, you get between 2.2 and 2.5 seconds stop. It, you know, it's random. So I came out of there good. I was looking at the mirrors coming in and I saw Oscar. I'm like, okay, better take off now. Don't want Oscar to hit the back of me and disrupt his race. But look at him. He's in 11th place now because of that strategy. He's going to have to stop again. So he's going to lose even more spots. So I don't know, right there I went wide, that was my first and only um, warning of the whole race. Yeah, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good, you know, I'm on this track, I tr most of the time I try to follow racing line, but you, you don't have to follow the racing line 100% all the time. But. I'm over here saying, come on, Oscar, try to keep up with me. I'll pull you to the front. But as you can see, I'm leaving him behind. I don't know why. I, this, this lap here, I'm just warming up my tires. So I think there's something wrong with Oscar's car now. And I don't know why we're in reverse camera here. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, here we go. Huh? Why is it stuck on reverse? Weird. So I have to put the right, uh, push the right analog up to get the front view. Oh, I didn't even know you can turn the camera from this view. What? You 
can do that with all the views. Look right, look left, look back. Oh. You learn something new every day. <laughs> look at that. Look to the left. Anyway. <laughs> so we're just going to speed up here. So I'm basically leaving Oscar behind. Look at it. Don't even see him. Well, you can still see him. I'm catching up to the next car here right there. I think I locked up. Did I lock up? Nope. But I had to slow down so much through there. But yeah, so I think right a couple laps or three laps ago, they were telling us that we're going to be expecting rain in the next 10, 15 minutes. And I was like, oh boy. I, I already hate this track. I, I can't get a hang of it already. And it's going to rain. And during this whole time, I had like a total of three interruptions. Uh, you know. Uh, some people came over to check if I was all right. Somebody brought me soup. <laughs> you know, things like that. And then at one point, I got up to go to the bathroom. And it was, it was just um, so hard to find a, a spot to pause. But anyway so that's why i couldn't get in a rhythm you know because i i keep whoa i almost lost control they're trying to punch out too hard good thing i caught it Whew. yeah but anyway it's just anyway i don't like this track it's just it's not a fun track for me i don't know maybe it's just me i'm, I'm sure other people love this track but i I don't like it. See? You can barely step on the gas here. You gotta turn. And then you finally get on the throttle in the middle of a turn. And then another turn is coming. Right here, you can finally get on the throttle. Just for about three, maybe four seconds. And then there's another turn. And then get on the throttle for a little bit. And then there's another turn. It's just... Oh. You know what? I'm glad I am not doing this track in manual shifting. Because <laughs> I would hate it. Hate it. So anyway, I was looking at some videos about trying to get some more feedback onto my racing sim here. And I was looking at the Haptic. Um, what are those kind of like ones that you put on your chair kind of thing not speakers because obviously roommates is going to complain about how loud that shit is going to be um, so I was looking at that but man we're talking about 400 probably over $450 after shipping so I'm, I'm kind of debating on getting that or get the Fanatec Club Sport version 3 paddles because those paddles will probably up my game now the, the paddles that I have here is the, um, the CSL you know with the low seal low sale bundle which they, they they work perfectly fine so I mean I'm, I'm leaning towards the haptic pad so I can actually feel which tires are slipping, get a massage while I'm racing. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see though. And a couple videos ago, I I was gonna mention that I, I bought some shoes for sim racing, and not an an actual racing shoes because I was looking at some Pumas and they wanted. To they go, they go to try to charge, um, go for a dive bomb, and I, ooh, I couldn't turn in real good because that, that was it, that was all the rotation of the wheel. But anyway, the shoes that I got, they're kind of like an outdoor shoes. Where, um, if you ever gone to the beach, you've seen those people who just wear shoes, kind of like that slip-on kind of stuff, and um, the ones that I got. 
Oh. I got it from this app called Temu. T E M U. And the soles, it, it's so sticky and grippy that it's perfect for sim racing. And it's cheap, it's dirt cheap. It was like $5, but I had to spend over $20 to get free shipping. So I, I bought some other stuff. But I bought this, this pair of shoes. I should have bought more than one. But yeah, they're nice and comfortable on, on the top of it. It's like a mesh and it's it's very cheap shoes and it, it's like well made. So my feet doesn't swell, um, smell when I, if I do sweat in there, I shouldn't sweat in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, they're nice and, and grippy. Um, I've, I've had it for a long time now. I think it was um, it was the race before Monaco was when uh, they came in. Um, and I've been wearing it ever since and I keep on failing to mention that I, I have these shoes. Um, I'll try to see if I can upload a picture of it um, somewhere on the video if I don't forget. But yeah, um, so the brakes doesn't slip on me anymore. That's why I've been locking up the car because I'm, I'm getting really good grips when I'm racing now. So I'm over here running my mouth. There is like zero action. So right now you see the raindrop and I was like, okay, rain is coming. I am going in on this track, um, on this track, going in on this lap and get a jump on everyone. But right now, if, if you can tell, I'm behind, let's say these two, eight seconds, 12 seconds, 13 and a half, uh, 15, about 16, over 16 seconds behind. Okay. So watch what happens after I pit and come out of Sebastian in the first place people so i pulled in i still think i went in yeah i did the stop a lot better this time anyway as i go in here the pit crew is still on the game that was another 2.3 second stop and as you can see i took off real fast that was non-assisted takeoff so i was practicing that um anyway so here I come out. Let's take a look at the lap when they after they all pit, and I'm right behind Magnuson here. I'm just trying to warm up my tires, but I'm catching up. He made me lock up a little bit there because he is on the wrong tire, driving on the wet course. Uh, some of the AI is just what are you doing? Kind of moment, you know. It's raining. Go in the pit. So by now. These people are coming in the pit now. They're coming out of pit. Right? And Max was like six seconds ahead of me. So look at this. How did Max get over 11 seconds ahead of me? It, this doesn't make any sense. How did he gain four seconds on me? The track was wet. He is on the wrong tire. Are you serious? I think, I think there's some kind of, um, some kind of pit glitch that happens here. The only way to explain it, because I can't blame it on the pit crew anymore. I pit crewed. They, they work really fast. 2.3 seconds stop. That's a really fast stop. So why am I down so much? Doesn't make any sense. And when I came in, the, the rope was already getting wet. They went on, you know, for another lap. So they were on the wrong tires, driving in bad weather. And look at the time. It's just, I'm telling you, this game finds every little way cheat you <laughs> I don't understand how I lost so much time through that <laughs> but whatever you can have it so I passed up gained another spot from Carlos 
Carlos just came out, I think, of the pit, right? Yep, he just came out of the pit. But who went in? Somebody else went in the pit. That's why I gained a spot. But Carlos, so from here on, I'm pretty comfortable. You know, but I'm still driving slow. Because it's raining. So before I pit, I was trying to ask for the weather update. Trying to find out how hard it's going to rain. Because he he never updated the strategy before the rain. Because, you know, I'm on hard tires. There, there was no update to the strategy. So I'm trying to ask him about the weather. I'm actually catching up to max velocity now. Because I'm, you know, right now I'm already steaming. That they suddenly stole extra time from me again. You know, I can't blame the... The pit, but, but whatever. I see. I'm still steaming about that. But yeah, I'm still driving good. So I'm trying to ask about the weather, trying to figure out if it's gonna rain hard. Is it gonna be a hard rain, light rain, rain? Should I pit for intermediate tires? You know. So right about a few laps after I, it started raining, that was when somebody came and gave me the soup. So I, that was another break. So I ate the soup. I came back had to drive in the rain so I had to try to get used to it again and later on here we're coming up on it it's gonna start to rain really hard look look at the rain in, in my face now so it's starting to rain really hard now it, it's it's starting to I'm starting to lose more and more traction water is starting to build up so later on I'm I start sliding everywhere, couldn't get any kind of grip, I'm driving so slow, um, this is when it all happened, see, I was picking up time, I was like, I got almost three seconds, and then heavy rain, we're on the wrong tires, I'm starting to lose time now, because it's really slippery, I can't get any grip. Um, let's see if I can speed up to where I really start sliding and spinning out. Not there, not there. Right here, nope. Nope, not right there. But as you can see, I'm driving so slow. But you can still come through fifth gear around there. I don't know how. <laughs> Look at that, see? There you go, I locked up. <laughs> so I'm just sliding all over the place like that. And look at it. So now Carlos is like 1.6 behind me now. Max is starting to gain back time on me because I'm driving slow and I locked up again. Because I can't get any kind of grip coming through this corner. And I'm like, wait. If it's like this with me on this tire, shouldn't it be like that with them too? But look at this. They're driving like it has no effect on them whatsoever. They're braking fine. Look at that. They're taking off fine. But you see me coming out of this corner. Look at this. So slow. See? The tire spun out on me. Right there. So, and he pushed the throttle harder than me. So how are they getting more traction than me? Which is, I, I don't, I totally don't understand. Um, I understand it's 110 AI, but don't give them extra grip. I mean, come on. Look at that. See, the water puddles are starting to build up. We are on the wrong tires. So, anyway. It was somewhere around here or whenever the, the last time that I almost spun out. I finally, okay, I need to go to the bathroom anyway, take a break and just calm myself, calm down. I'll come back and start relaxing, start driving better. So, and I did that and I, I didn't push the car too, too hard anymore. But as you can see, I am slow. Look at that. I almost spun again. And I'm like, how is it? not like this with the AI so we're just gonna watch the guy behind me so 
Look at this. Look at how smooth he comes out of there. Okay? Now look at me. Look at how much I have to slow down. And I have to barely press on the gas. You see that? Barely lifting the idle. Now watch the AI. Listen to the rev. See that? So much faster than me. So how are they getting extra grip? Codemaster, I need you to answer this. How? It should not be like this. It should be equal. But whatever, I'm just, you know, I was feeling like crap trying to drive in this track that I hate and is now heavy rain. I can't get any damn traction on this track. I'm all pissed off. <laughs> Because, you know, when I watch the replay and I see them going around the track better than me, they have more traction than me, obviously. It, something is not right. So if, if you want to argue about, you know, car setup, then did they automatically switch the car setup in the rain? No. I set this car up for a dry race, not a wet race. So if they set it up on a wet race, they should way, be way behind me right now. Even if I, you know, started in 20th, but no, they left me behind and then cheated all more time in the pit lanes. So anyway, as you can see, I'm still fuming about that. So I basically just kept them behind. Look, listen to the way they drive. It's like... They have extra grip. The grip level needs to be the same. I wish there was a way for me to look up, you know, because there was a way in Mass Effect to go look at the files to see um, status of the AI. Because I go in there and I check all kinds of stuff, status on the AI. Why, why is the um, insanity level like that? Because, you know, they boost their health to insane level um so maybe someone knows what is the ai grip level so let's say my my, my whole career even whatever car i have i start out at like a hundred percent grip i'm sure they have more than a hundred percent grip look at this they did not they should it's like they, they don't even lose grip and you saw how he just jerked the steering wheel like that look at him coming through there's no slip up no nothing and the way I drive I have to carefully come in here carefully punch in the throttle because if I don't I'm gonna power slide everywhere something is not right man anyway I'm gonna stop my rant this, I pretty much finished sixth place, uh, so I'm not going to complain, especially starting from dead last. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll go look through the files to see. I don't know. I'm just going to try to search on, on the internet to see what the AI actual grip level is. Because if it's the same grip level, there's no way. You saw the way they're driving. Just like, how can they drive like that? with the wrong tires anyway okay i'm gonna stop now so this is the race done um so anyway i was over there complaining about that but oscar he did so good he finally dnf i think it was something wrong with his gearbox maybe electronics but he had the wrong strategy anyway so but still he's doing good so i might not give him the boot now okay thanks for watching Peace.